Hi guys. There's not a fish that swims in UK lakes and rivers that won't eat the humble maggot. Probably the most popular bait of all time. It's what I started using when I started fishing over 50 years ago. And I found a really good way of keeping maggots fresh in the fridge for weeks, even months. And this is a short video to share with you that technique for keeping your bait nice and fresh so it's ready to catch every time you go. Red maggots and tench go together, and here's the proof. Cracking fish from this morning, really pleased with this. So the one thing you'll notice when you get back from the tackle shop is your maggots are likely to smell. And that's because they've been stored in bran or maize flour or sawdust or even ground bait uh, within the tackle shop. And not every tackle shop will riddle their maggots on a regular basis, so you need to do it yourself. So the first thing I do when I get my maggots back from the tackle shop is to use a maggot riddle to get rid of all of that stuff so you've just got the plain maggot which is then clean and ready to take any flavours that you want to add. So I spent about 10 minutes after riddling to take out any dead skins, casters, um, anything that was too big to go through the riddle. So I've now got uh, my perfect bait which is ready for flavouring before I put them into the fridge. So one of the ways to make your maggots even more attractive is to add some flavour. And you can use liquid flavours such as the uh, boil making flavours that you would use and I tend to use those on the day I'm fishing. Just pour a small amount over the maggots and stir them up and then they take on the, uh, the flavouring during the course of the day. But as these are going in the fridge and they could be there for a couple of weeks, I use powdered flavours and over the years I've used lots of different ones. Krill powder is very good, uh, green lip mussel powder and liver extract powders are very, very good, but they're also very expensive. So I've gone back to, uh, to the supermarket and the ones I'm using this season are Chinese Five Spice and Garam Masala, which is a, an Indian spice mix. And you literally just pour the spice over the maggots before they go in the fridge and they take on the flavor while they're in the fridge and it just gives them a, a little bit more attraction. And the best way I've found of keeping your maggots freshest for longest is to use these zip seal bags. So you put the maggots in the bottom of the bag and then you fold the bag up, taking out all of the oxygen. And then you zip the bag closed and make sure it is closed. And so there's no oxygen getting in and no oxygen getting out. And this means that the maggots then go into a state of hibernation. They really slow down. When you look at them a few days after they've been in the fridge, they look like they might be, even be dead, but they're not. Uh, they're just slowed down into a hibernation state. It means they stay fresh in the fridge for several weeks. And even when you're fishing for a night session or a two night session, um, you can take them out in the bags, zipped closed with a couple of ice blocks and they will stay fresh during the course of your session. All you need to do about an hour or so before you want to use the maggots is to unzip the bag, pour them into a bait box and they're ready to go. It's a really good method for keeping them fresh for weeks. Well I hope you found that useful guys. If you did please like and share. There's lots of other videos which you may find useful too. So thanks very much for watching Tight Lines.